Hello everybody, Dan here with TrendSpider, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you about something really, really exciting that we've just released in the platform, and that is the ability to build your own indicators and strategies and trading tools on top of TrendSpider using one of the most popular and well-known programming languages in the world, and that's JavaScript. Now, custom scripting has been something that has been coming for a long time. A lot of people have asked us about it. It's been one of the top requests from traders and developers alike to be able to bring custom indicators to the platform. And we've done that, and we've done it in a big way that we think is a big improvement over what else is out there in the world. The big change and the thing that's important here is that we used JavaScript, an existing full-featured programming language. It's known as a general language because it is designed to be able to do basically anything that you could want to do with it. And we did this in a very unique way. We built it on JavaScript, obviously, but we built in a full interpreter. And that means you get all the bells and whistles that come with JavaScript, plus a bunch of helper functions to help you code, the ability to have fully serialized data all at once, every variable is all the prices all at once, the ability to use outside libraries and NPM packages, the ability to use your own independent development environment, IDE, or the one built into TrendSpider, and the ability to debug using your browser's developer tools. These are all big deals for developers and programmers, and that's a big piece of what drove us here. We wanted to build a custom scripting capability that put developers first, something that developers will enjoy building on, because what's out there today, these half-baked proprietary languages, I won't name any of them, but you know what they are, are custom languages that are designed to lock developers in and make it hard to port and move indicators and custom creations out of the platform they're built on. That's not the case here. With pure JavaScript, it's fully portable. Any other JavaScript interpreter will be able to use it. And the fact that it's built into TrendSpider means you can build very powerful scripts using outside libraries, using our real-time market data, and more. Now, next I'm gonna bounce over to TrendSpider and I'm gonna walk you around and tell you a little bit about it. So to open the custom script editor, you click on code editor in the very top right corner of your screen. This will open the custom code editor window at the bottom. This window is a full featured development environment. It's a code editor and you can make it take up half your screen or the whole screen, that's up to you. And it gives you the ability to build on top of TrendSpider in a very powerful way. Now, keep in mind, I'm not gonna get into all the programming details because that's a whole video of its own, but we bring you a lot of examples. It comes with them built right in. You just click on load example and you get this giant list and you can pick one of these indicators and load it and see the code behind it. And some of these indicators are standard indicators like the one I just pulled up. Others are proprietary TrendSpider indicator like our gap detector, like our pattern recognition for double tops or triangles, like some of the interesting unique experiments like pressure and response and quant quant fund analysis that we built into TrendSpider. We've open sourced the code for those indicators so that you can use them right away and you can learn from them and build derivatives of them. Now, the code editor itself is very, very nice. There's um, all kinds of stuff built into it to make your life easier. First, there's a console at the bottom that if you make a mistake in your code and try to run it, it's gonna give you an error right there so you can see what you did wrong and where you did it wrong. That's very helpful to have right there in front of you so that if you make a mistake in your syntax or forget a semicolon, uh, as the old programmer joke goes, you know exactly where that mistake happened. Next, certain functions have details that if you hover your mouse over them will appear. There's actually two ways to access this help information directly from this code editor. One is just hovering your mouse over a particular uh, highlighted command and that will tell you what it does. The other is to hold control on a PC or command on a Mac and to click on it and that will open a side panel here that contains the same information. This is there so if you want to do something and you're just not sure what inputs this function takes or how it works, you can quickly get that information information directly from the platform without having to jump into the documentation. Now, let's say that you're writing a function here and you're not sure what to do. So you might say like, let's define a variable, const Dan's example variable, 
and then we might make this an SMA or something. You'll notice as I type, uh, autocomplete menu will appear, and this will show you any of the functions that start with the letters that I started typing. So if I'm typing SMA, the minute I type the M in SMA, it's gonna know what I'm trying to do, and it's gonna give me that example, and I can click on it. It's gonna tell me also what variables it takes. So this might take the close and the duration. That will give me a 10 period simple moving average of close prices saved as Dan's example variable. That's something that is very, very easy to do here because the autocomplete helps you along. Next, we have built in search and replace. Let's say you wanna replace every variable with a different name. You wanna re uh, replace a mistake you made over and over, or you just wanna find a particular spot in your code. On a PC, if you click Control F, or on a Mac, if you click Command F, it will open the search and replace panel at the bottom of your code editor, so you can just go in there and do whatever you need to do very, very briefly. Now, you may be wondering why there's no name field at the top here. Right? There's no place for me to type a name for my custom script. And that's because it comes directly from the code itself. This first line, which should be the first line in every custom script you build, is called describe indicator. And this is where you define the name. This is where you see gap detector here. And I can change this to Dan's example gap detector. And I can click save, and you'll see it'll pop up in my side menu just like that. So it gives you the ability to do a whole bunch of stuff directly in the code editor that's very, very easy for you to do. Oops, mistake there. And that is stuff that just is nice to have if you're writing a custom indicator. Now, a few other things to cover before I jump off this video. Um, the first thing I wanna show you is in your indicator panel, right, you're gonna see some new icons up here. You'll see this adaptive Donchian channel has this hollowed out, not filled in JS icon. You'll see other indicators here, and we'll try to find one that I saved, that have these filled in JavaScript um, icons. These icons indicate that this indicator is part of the JavaScript scripting, meaning it was built using JavaScript. And if it is visible in the indicator list, that means the code for that indicator is also available in the code editor. So you can go in and see code for some of the indicators that we've built ourselves. When the code is Transpider code, meaning that indicator comes with the platform, the icon will be hollowed out. It will not be filled in. And when it's code that you have saved in Transpider, it will be filled in. So that's why some of these are hollow and some of them are filled in. And when I click on these, it'll just add them to the chart like any other indicator. Now, I wanna point out a couple things, right? One is when you add an indicator, it will automatically give the user the ability to configure the colors. You do not have to write into your code the option for users to change colors on lines that are drawn by your indicator. The color and the stroke thickness of the line will automatically be out there for the user to customize. But in the code, you can define variables that users can change. For example, the gap factor in this indicator, the, the Dan's example gap detector, is in the code and there is a default value and a minimum and maximum value, but the developer of this indicator, our team, decided to give users control over that. And that's something that you can also do if you're building a custom indicator upon TrendSpider. Now, a few other housekeeping notes before I wrap up. Custom scripting is browser-side execution right now. That means it won't work in scanners, strategies, and other parts of the system other than the charts right now. That will change very soon. We are moving the execution to the server and that will give you the ability to run bots and strategies and scanners using custom indicators very easily. But that's not there right now in this current beta release. There's a few other nuances to it. For example, serialization of data, um, there's a, a, a certain number of packages from the NPM library that you can use, and other things like that. And all of these nuances and details are described in the documentation. You can get to the documentation from the website about custom scripting, or by clicking on this little help icon, this little circle here, to open the documentation. And our docs are truly robust. We go into an exceedingly detailed level and to going into what every single function that you can use in the uh, system is and how they work. And we provide significant numbers of examples complete with code that you can copy and paste and screenshots of what it should look like. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. It's a quick, quick preview to give you a sense for what just launched. It's the beginning, not the end. There are gonna be significantly more updates to this. This is an area we're investing very heavily because we believe that custom scripting 
opens up the platform and makes it extensible. It's not just a tool, it's something that is living and breathing that users can build on and share with each other and enhance the trading experience for everybody. So thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more updates. And with that, I'm out.